Just take it. I normally grab it. This is called the horn. Just grab it just, to, just under the horn of the net. And I bring my right hand just above my head level. I'm right-handed, so I'll put it on my right side. So I put it on my just head level. And I'll come, pull it up, bring it to my pocket. And then I grab with my right hand. I always like doing it with my thumb up. Like act like you're doing a thumbs up when you're grabbing it so it comes out nicely. And you do it again here to my pocket again. Or I do it just above my knee. And I grab it again the same way, grab it the same way. And you take from the left side, you're gonna pop your knee up. And you're gonna want, you're gonna break it into like, into thirds. You're just gonna grab this one piece right here. Bring it above your knee. And that should be normally good enough. Under, you're gonna bring it under your elbow and on top of your shoulder. And then you take this inside braille line and bring it under, over. And then again, you grab this inside one. Again, from here, let it hang on your forearm. You just fling it and break that in half. Do 50 and 50. And that's normally about right. And you grab all this line here with my three fingers and then my pointer finger and my thumb is going to hold this lead line and that's going to be the last thing I let go is this lead line. And when you let the when you let your fingers go, the pointer finger and thumb, you're going to watch the net form. You're going to throw it, watch the net form, and you're going to let it go like right here because you're going to watch it open, watch it form, and then you're going to let it go as you're watching it form. And it's going to fall right here in front of you and the leads are just going to do all the work for you. And you really don't have to throw it that hard either if you got these leads swinging too because the leads, they got the momentum and they're just going to whip it out there for you. Normally I just do like a one, two, three count. So I just go one, two, three. Take it. Watch the net form and then drop it. Shopping for the holidays or a personal upgrade? With countless purchasing options, it's easy to wonder, why should I choose Wholesale Marine? Simply put, quality, variety, and availability with a low price guarantee. Our inventory remains regularly stocked with premier products for your best boating experience. Wholesale Marine is proudly owned and operated as a family business with boating in our blood. Visit WholesaleMarine.com and start your order today. Alrighty guys, well today what I want to go over is kite fishing and what we do here we have several different kites. Uh, these are the Tigris kites. We have a light wind kite, we have a medium wind kite, and we have a heavy wind kite. So th this kite right here we can fly anywhere from you know light winds, 5 knots to you know 12 knots is good for the uh, white one. You can see it's much larger, captures more air. The, uh, the yellow kite would be a little bit smaller and uh, and this one here, we're gonna we're gonna fly in that 15, um, you know, or 12 to to 18 uh, mile an hour knot winds. Anything over that, we're, we're gonna go with this blue kite. This is the high wind kite, and this right here, you can see it has the holes. It's a little bit smaller, but it has the holes here to allow the flow to go through it. So when it when it's when it's that high of winds, you know, you want to let the air pass as well. So with this right here, you'll see we have different settings on these clips and and as it's you know you have this attached to to your rod right here this right here it is gonna is gonna um, you're, you're gonna deploy it it's gonna go but sometimes you want to dump air out or you know like angle it a little bit that's where this is gonna come in so if it's more wind you're gonna pull this this right here towards the swivel to allow it to dump out or, or if you need to capture more wind you can actually push it towards the kite pull it towards the kite and then it'll capture more wind and fly out that way you know so, so if you start to see the kite wobble it's because this is not in, in the correct position right here 
and they have already a couple like black marks in there to show you like you know th this is this is the general range of of adjusting it from you know to, to dump more wind put it here to capture more wind put it towards the kite and that's just by moving this piece back and forth pull it down and then that just adjusts the kite like that so and what, what we're going to attach here is going to be these kite clips you know so we got the snap swivel here we have three different clips and we have different three different size swivels that goes on on our on our braid so here each clip is going to be approximately 40 feet apart so this will be attached to the kite 40 feet goes out then we have the first clip another 40 feet the second another 40 feet the third Each swivel is a different size. Okay, so you know each clip has a different. You know that's a smaller hole, that's a little bigger hole, and that's a bigger hole. So each clip's got to catch that swivel to keep those clips spread apart from each other. If not, they'll all just fall down, and you just have a bunch of clips. A lot of these electric reels we use have a free spool. You click it, and it goes in a free spool. If you have a kite on there and it's windy, it's a lot of tension. And if you put your thumb on it and it's not strong enough, you go and you your thumb. It'll like drip the line out and just trying to fly the kite. So you can always just back the drag on the reel a little and it'll slowly creep it out. Yeah, you slow, more drive. controlled. Um, if you hit free spool sometimes you're not ready, it goes 20 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to keep your reel on a setting and you're going to keep your reel on the clicker. Okay, so. I basically open this up, I open that up, I let the kite go, and this go at the same time. You <laughs> learn your bait, and you have to keep you know, two people, or how we use those tridents that have three rod holders and one. They're all close together, so you can hook your bait, throw it out there, and loosen that reel to loosen the drag so it'll fly out. Loosen the drag on your kite so it'll go farther out. And they both carry your bait to the next clip. As it flies out, another swivel will come out of here, grab this clip, and once it grabs it, you kind of stop. You can adjust your bait reel, stop this reel, get your other rod if you have it, clip on another one, send it out methodically like that. So then once you have them all out there, you can sit there and fish it like Mike was saying. We call it trimming the lines a little bit, trim them in, trim them out, and adjust for the wind, wind gusts. That's a constant, you're always on the rod. Um, this is just visual, you know, when I'm out there, depending on how long your leader is, I'm trying to maintain this on the horizon, you know, but as long as you can maintain that bait where it needs to sit in the water, that's all it is. For over 80 years, Furuno Innovations have helped more fishermen find and catch more fish than any other brand. And we're raising the bar again with Navnet TZ Touch 3's new PBG and Fish It Drifted Technology. Build your own three-dimensional shaded relief charts to find trophy fish others have missed. Perform accurate drifts the first time, every time. Be the one everyone follows. When you're serious about fishing, lead the way and get serious with Faruno. And then what you want to do is keep that, yeah, right on the horizon. If it drops too much, push the lever up, raise it, and then open it again. There you go, he's on. Real, real, real. Yep, just lift up. We got the kite up, pull a bro pull the blue runner out. Didn't take long. Yeah, no, we got ourselves a 
Huh? Nice kingfish. Beautiful. You know the kite works. It works. All right, brother. You got it. Good job. Oh, here we go. 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 There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Real, 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 real. Go to that side. Go to that side. Go to that side. I'm off the kite, dude. Follow him back. There you go. Follow him back. Wherever he goes, you go. Good boy. Big boy. That a boy. Hold that thing out there, dude. Use the anchor trusted by professionals. Fortress anchors are designed lighter, set faster, and provide stronger holding power than the competition. For the best value in anchoring safety and convenience, use the legendary Fortress anchor. So we have, uh, so this is always moving. This hook is set. This is what we'll run and gun and cast all day. When you find these floaters too, you can use this same rig right here. Cause on them you'll have like triple tail, you'll have your mahi, you'll have your amaco jacks, and then down below you have like your wahoo. Cause you have all these smaller baits that are attracted to the floating pallets and these wahoo will be down there. So this is another key thing to have. It's cause during the summer, it's not a bad idea to run around with like some goggle eyes or some big ballyhoo you'll hook it right through here, and this is always moving. So I'll have my main line here, I hook the bait, and then right here, ideally I would like to have a treble hook. So I'll hook that treble hook. But you, the treble hook isn't in the bait, it's just dangling. It's just dangling, and sometimes I can hook it in the bait, just depending on what the situation is. And as you can feel, I'll have it the same as that one. So I mean, with a bait like that, it's gonna be able to get down 100 feet below that floater pretty, pretty quick. Same size, just different concepts. It's a guy, Neil and Key West, who ties them. So it's pretty hard to get these. And it's, they're all gangster lures. And this he just came out with. It's, we've only used it once, but I mean, it, I'm excited for summer because with those like Almaco Jacks and the baby triple tail, it's hard to punch that water through to get your bait below because they come in like swarming little critters. So if this weight in a bigger live or bait, you can kind of get it below them and then it's out of their way. It's just nice because that hook, you can do a full 360 with the ball. And if that blue runner goes left, it looks left. He goes right. It's right, and it's just a different style of fishing because with your like your stinger rig, your bait is pretty much gonna stay on top of the water. He'll dive down a little bit, but this forces him to go down. Like he can't, and that's. And I've always wondered too, because we haven't got too much with it, but like this and all is really cool. But if I was wondering if I could trim this, like right here, you know, I, I don't know. Sometimes with the like the lures and artificials, this right here can get in the way and hinder like the hook set. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Different way, because we've been talking about it too. Even if we can cut it right here on the back end, still leave this, because don't get me wrong, the flashiness and the purple, yeah. But if we can just get it right here to where the little rubber pieces aren't getting on the plastic hook and like hindering, because that's my worst, like right there, something could still punch that through, but if that hook's right there, you know, it's, it's a 50-50 it's a shot. It's, but that's a different way to punch the pallets. And then, right here, and then the old school ones, he has a jig on top, like the right here. And like, it would always go like pop, pop, pop. But this down below, it forces the line to shoot up. So you're, it's being forced to go up more aggressively. Yeah. And that's, a lot more guys are starting to get onto this style. There's different ways, but with heavy like this, even your amateur anglers can cast this pretty far. As long as you can get it out like this, and it doesn't need to be any fast, crazy movement. Like if it's just reeling like this in the water, something's gonna chase it. But the more fast and aggressive it is, because it doesn't give them a chance. They see the flashiness, they see all the turns, and they're gonna go ahead and nail it. And that's, I don't, it's not many days you don't use these mahi fishing.